Hey guys, you know, when you go out camping or hiking or, um, you know, if there's a bug out situation, um, the, the chances of you taking an electronic device out with you is really great. And when you're in a bug out situation, one of the things you want to do with your electronics is make sure they're charged, right? Well, um, recently, or shoot, about three years ago, I purchased what's in here. And this one right here is a solar charger that is the biggest piece of crap I've ever seen, to be honest. There's several little pieces to it, and really just kind of too much for what it is. I mean, there's just too many pieces. Um, what I have here is just an old camera case that I actually picked up at a garage sale, brand spanking new for uh, you know, 25 cents and it's like a $40 Samsonite case. It's really nice. But um, it happened to, at the time, it happened to uh, fit this charger perfect. And what this is, is obviously a solar charger. You can see that there. Um, it even says right there. Um, this one has multiple different wires and um, Different connections for different uh, phones, such as this mic or this mini USB, uh, an iPod. Um, this one's for like a Samsung, I think, or the old style. A mini USB, um, the old USB or mini USB. It's kind of wide. Hopefully, my camera will. Okay, and then this little doohickey. And, um, you know, it really doesn't work. You can charge it for like four or five hours and it says it's full. And you know it's f uh, charging. Uh, let's see if I can get this. It must be just really dead because usually if I just take my flashlight, there's two LEDs right here. One's green and one's red. Um, when it's discharging, maybe if I plug something in. How about that? I'll try that. See, there you go. When it's discharging, it's green. And when it's charging, it is red. And, or yeah, when you put it in the sun or if you hooked up to a wall outlet, it's red. Um, it really works well for about an hour, but if you were to um, put this in the sun and then try to charge something at the same time, it does not work at all. So it is not like a. Uh, trickle charger. It will not charge really while you're using the product. You know, you're feeling. I used to put this on my lap. Uh, I used to, or not on my lap, but I used to strap it down to my motorcycle tank and then I had it plugged into my iPod that was in my pocket and my headphones going up my helmet and everything. And um, it would keep my iPod charged for like 45 minutes and then it wouldn't be able to charge anymore. And then it would take anywhere from two to three hours sitting out in the sun to charge back up to charge it just like 30 minutes and so it really didn't work anymore and so I decided to get rid of this crap uh, this one's in my bug out bag now so it's really kind of the last ditch ever but I went ahead and purchased this new one at a store uh, recently it's, it's called uh, the solar assist portable charger it's from concept green um, it's just another solar charger and it says here uh, eight hours more talk time, 19 hours more listening time, and four hours more internet time. So I really don't see it charging too much more than the other one did, but it was just a shot in the dark and just figured I'd try it out. Um, it features uh, solar backup power, obviously. So you can charge it regularly on the wall or whatever, or whatever like a DC or AC and then use the sun to charge it. Um, it has accessories and the cable exclude, included for each little piece, so it's probably the exact same thing as my other one. Uh, micro and U micro USB and USB output, and so it's gonna be exactly the same. It's gonna look like this right there. That's gonna be the micro, and that's just the, that's why I didn't like it, because it has this uh, round, like eighth inch jack. Uh, for charging this other one. Um, I think, what is it, milliamps MAH? 
high capacity 1250 and takes two and a half hours to charge so about the same time that one does and I haven't opened it yet as you can see those little plastic seals and so I'll go ahead and open it I got the Delica 4 here the uh, Spyderco let's crack this open and see what we're working with hopefully it's something that's quality Because if it's not, I'll sell on eBay. All right. So let's see this pull out thing. And right away, you see a little blue light come on? That is awesome. It just charges right up in the light. Um, that's pretty nice because my other one does not do that at all. Um, pretty pretty small. Um, it's metal on the back and the ends are plastic. Um, I'd say about three and a half inches long by an inch and a half wide. Uh, don't quote me, I don't have any, any specs on it right now. Um, kind of like cables and stuff. Nothing there. There's got to be something here. Ah. So they just give you an iPod cord. What good is that? So you'd have to get your own mini USB cord to charge it, and they just give you the an iPod cord. That is about the useless, most useless thing I've ever seen. There's literally, literally no other cords in here. Uh, not even, a, not even a. Uh, little baggie or anything. This, this one I got came with a little mesh baggie so I can put everything together but this one right here is just kind of a joke. Anyways. Um, oh well. I got my trusty old USB for my cell phone anyways so I'll go ahead and use that. And we will see if this charges because my phone should be close to dead. Uh, let's see here. I guess that's beat on. There we go. And what you see there is a green light for charge. Let's see if you can read that. The green light means charge, obviously. And then the middle one that says solar would be blue if it's in the in light. And then the red lights goes from see if you can read that, uh, low to full. So low's over here and full's over there. And right now it's full right out of the box. That's pretty neat. Obviously it's not well. It might be. So the uh, so the so the the chart of the power lights go off when you're um, charging. So that's a neat little uh, piece right there. I'm actually going to make a Kydex holster for this. So uh, that'll be interesting to see that uh, if I can get it to work out the way I want it to because I want to put this on my camera bag and uh, or at least somewhere be able to uh, connect it to multiple places so I can uh, use it, you know. I can, that way I can, I, wanna make, I actually want to make a Kydex holster so I can, you know, Put it on my uh, on my belt loop, and I can charge my phone or whatever at the same time that I'm, you know, walking around and and doing a lot of whatever with my dead phone. So we'll just see how long this actually works because it did say it's a full battery. I will see how long it takes for this to actually die down and uh, no longer work. So far, my phone come up. It went from 25 to 27 percent in like no time. Well, let's read a little bit of here. It says here, welcome. This 
This product is, li is your lifeline for digital life. It extends the uh, use user time for the surfing, for surfing the web, listening to music, track talking, your social, in your social circle, and more. Um, obviously, you can charge it um, from your computer or a, a, a AC source, and it comes from. You can put it in your iPod, whatever, and then. Do that. And the nice thing we got this is just that while this is charging this, I can also flip it around sometime. You know, this thing's pretty stiff actually. That's nice. Nice good connection there. I can take this, plug in this one, plug it in the AC, and I'm charging this now. If I'm not already charging it with uh, solar. So I picked this up for ten dollars. I forgot to mention that it was on sale from eighteen to ten dollars. Um, I definitely recommend the. So far, just the size, and the uh, the price I got it at was a nice little price. So I'm going to. It says actually I forgot to mention this here. Huh, charge your smartphone up to one times. Um, so is that it only charges at one time and it's dead, or one time a charge? Because really, I would like to be charging the solar charger while I'm charging my phone. So I really hope that's the situation that I'm looking at instead of the other way around. Well, if I can get this stinking thing in there. All right. Yep. Still going. So I will um, come back and video as soon as my phone is charged and I'll tell you how long it actually lasted to uh, charge just sitting right here. Okay, before I get too far, I just realized that this is more than just an iPod cord. Um, it's ingenious kind of. It just pops out, rolls over, and now I've got my charger for my uh, smartphone. So I'm going to try that out because um, I know some chargers won't fit in my little slot because my case... And this looks like it might. Yep, there it goes. Perfect. Um, we'll try this here. I thought it meant by it had multiple cords to uh, charge. So it really just has one cord and it's two pieces. That's awesome. So it saves you all this cord here. And so really, I can still go ahead and use this and charge this up at the same time as I'm doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and let my phone charge and we will see how well it works. Okay, so the package recommended that you uh, pre-charge the uh, solar charger for 24 hours before your first use. And since it was already full, I went ahead and just did it for an extra 4 or 5 hours just to make sure. And it looks pretty good. And I'll show you what it looks, what the battery, the, the lights look like here. I think I already did. But, uh, Four, four red lights there means that it's uh, fully charged. So what I'm going to go ahead and do and uh, plug that in and then turn my phone or plug, plug in my phone which I'm sure you could use any USB to micro USB for your phone or iPod or uh, iPhone or whatever and if you can see that there it is charging 69% Okay, so it's going to town. Um, the one thing I did do was went out and made it, I made a Kydex a little sheath for it. Uh, that way I can put it, I mean, I put a carabiner and a piece of nylon uh, strap on it so I can put it around my belt loop or my backpack or whatever and I can charge it on the go. And it simply fits right around it, just like so, pretty snug. It's not going to go anywhere, it won't fall out because it's going to be hanging down. Um, so there it is. Um, the really cool thing I found I, I found uh, with this cord is that it'll go both ways, and so this char charger can all this cord can also be the charger for the uh, solar charger itself. And so you plug it in there and plug it into the USB, and there you go. So that is the uh, Concept Green. 
pocket solar charger. Um, it's quality. Um, I paid ten bucks. You know, it's normally eighteen dollars, so close to twenty bucks. Um, I'm gonna test it out and see how long it actually does charge the phone, how long it lasts. Because one, just like it, it wasn't solar charge. Uh, it was like a wall AC charger. It said that it only charged up to 500 times with a lithium battery, so that's kind of crappy. So uh, this one didn't say how long it charged, how many times it charged up. So uh, hopefully this one's quite a bit more than that. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate the thumbs up. You guys have a nice day.